Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. We are at Costco. We made a special trip. It's like an hour and a half away from where we live and we needed to get some things. So we are at Costco now. We're gonna go in. I'm gonna take you guys with me and do a little shopping. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna go over to Trader Joe's, do a little shopping there. And when I get home today, I will give you guys a little haul of everything we get. We have a few things in mind that we know we need, <laughs> but pretty much what we're gonna do is go up and down the aisles and uh, see what we want. So let's go. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> This is the best pancake mix ever, so we are gonna get two of these this time. <gasps> what are you doing? Look at you out there. <laughs> Hey guys we just got back from our little road trip like our mini road trip and we went to Costco and we went to Trader Joe's and we went to some other places but I did get quite a bit of groceries and some things from Costco and Trader Joe's so I'm gonna show you guys all of that right now so let's get started I am also gonna give you prices for things because when I've done these in the past people have asked for prices on things and then also like my total at the end so I'm gonna do that. So from Costco, the first thing that we got was the Birch Benders Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is the second time we're buying it. We've already gotten one of these before and we loved them. They're so good. Emmy eats them all the time. I actually really enjoy them. The pancakes come out really fluffy and some people have said that they don't like the flavor of them, but to me, they taste just like regular pancakes. They don't have a different flavor or even consistency to me personally. So we got two of these because we know that we'll go through them. The next thing that I got is maple syrup. I get at least one of these whenever I go to Costco because I use this in my coffee. So I use it at least once a day. I do maple syrup and then milk in my coffee. And then I'll also use it to sweet pretty much anything oatmeal. Um, if I'm doing some like healthier baking, then this is what I'll use to sweeten. So I got another one. I got two of these because um, I actually ran out completely and that just can never happen again. So I got two of those. The Birch Benders pancakes were $11.69 each. And then the maple syrup is $10.79 each. This is something that I have actually been into lately and using. It's collagen peptides and it's by Vital Proteins. And I, what I do is I add one scoop of this to my coffee in the morning and i was totally terrified the first time that i got this um, because i thought i thought that you would be able to taste it in my coffee and that it would ruin my coffee but actually it's completely flavorless it doesn't change the consistency or texture anything in my coffee and it's supposed to be really good for hair and skin and nails and bones so i have been trying this because my hair has been falling out because of postpartum hair loss so Actually, this is a really good deal. This is 24 ounces. You can also get this from like your grocery store or Target, but you can only get it in this smaller 10 ounce. And this small 10 ounce was uh, $24 for the small one. And then at Costco, this was $29. So this was such a steal. And this is hopefully how I'll be buying it from now on. And the next thing that we got is these Autumn Golds Autumn's Gold Grain-Free Granola Bars. 
the ingredients are really simple and these are just nice to have as a little snack. Andrew has been trying to eat a lot healthier and so he had one of these once and said that they were really good. So we got a whole box this time. Comes with 16 of them and this box is $16.99. Next is these little pouches. They're organic fruit and veggie pouches and they have like carrots in them. We got these for Emerson because Oakley has pouches um, almost every day, like at least one pouch every day for his solids. And she is kind of in a phase where she wants to be a little bit of a baby too. So um, she eats his pouches, which are a little bit on the pricey side. So we got these for her to hopefully give her as like a little snack. They're still really healthy, have really good ingredients, but um, they won't be quite as expensive as her little brother's pouches. The two flavors are apple, strawberry, yellow, carrot, and then apple, mango, and yellow, carrot, and peach. And you get 24 in a pack. And this box was $10.99. We picked up another staple in our house, the Annie's mac and cheese. And we really liked these. I'll even eat these on occasion if like it's late and I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking. So every time we go to Costco, we get a pack of these. There's three flavors that it comes with and it's a 12 pack and this 12 pack is $12.99. Also from Costco, we got these sausages. They are the, I don't know how you say that, Adele's chicken and apple smoked chicken sausage. These are really good. We've actually been eating these for quite a few years. Andrew introduced this really good dish to me. It's these chicken sausages with Brussels sprouts and apples and it's like all one dish, it's so good. Um, so we got some of these, we haven't had these in a really long time. You get quite a few in one pack and they're just really, really good. And these chicken sausages were $13.99. We also got Emerson some goggles. She has been swimming like a little fish these days. She spends so much time in the pool and she is going to be going to swimming lessons soon and the instructor has them wear goggles. So, I mean, she's gonna love it anyways, but we got this little three pack of goggles. They're Speedo. And this little three pack was $12.99. Next, we got a an electric toothbrush. That's super exciting, I know. But we have actually been wanting to get these for a really long time. We've been talking about it for like years now. And we just now decided to do it. So we got a two pack by the Philips. These are Philips Sonicare. It's a two pack so Andrew and I can each have one. I liked that it came with like a case. I don't know if they all do, but um, they come with a case so we can take them traveling. These actually were $30 off, so it ended up being $119 for this two, two pack, which is actually a pretty good deal, I think. Next, we got bath tissue and paper towels because we were out, almost out of both of those things. Um, we can get them from Sam's Club, but we just really like Costco, so we got some from Costco since we had room in the car and figured why not. We don't really go to Sam's Club that often anymore. The paper towels were $16.49 and then the um, toilet paper was $16.99. And then we also got another box of Pirate's Booty for Emerson, their little like cheese puffs and they come in individual packs, so they're easy to grab and like go, put them in a diaper bag, take them in the car. They're super easy and she really likes them, so we get a box of these every time we go to Costco too. And these were $9.99. I feel like they've gone up in price. I feel like they used to be $8.99, but they were $9.99 today. And then I have two more things to show you. We actually brought, can I open it? We brought a cooler with us and some ice so that we could keep everything refrigerated. The sausages had been in here, but this is a little bag of organic super smoothie. So what this is, is you basically just have like, there's eight, six individual eight ounce bags and you just pour it into the blender and then add your liquid and it turns into a smoothie. It's really handy. So we got one of these. I'm really excited to try that. And then the last thing is we got a six pack of the Synergy um, Trilogy Kombucha. The bag of smoothie mix was $10.79 and then the kombucha was on sale for like less than $10. So that was everything that we got from Costco today and the total for everything was $384. Typically we probably wouldn't spend that much money 
at Costco, but we did get the toothbrush, which bumped us up like $100, so over $100. And then we got doubles of things, so $384 is what we spent today. So now I'm gonna just really quickly show you what we got from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has all kinds of dried fruits. So we got these organic banana chips. These are really good um, just to snack on, and then Emmy also really likes those. So I got a bag of that. The banana chips were $3.49. Andrew really likes these dried mangoes so we got two packs of these and these were $3.99 each. Andrew also snagged himself a little bag of sunflower seeds. These were only 99 cents and then coconut aminos is such a great substitute for soy sauce. Soy sauce isn't necessarily the greatest thing for you so coconut aminos is actually a really good soy sauce alternative. It does taste a little bit different. It's not quite as salty and it has a little bit of a sweeter flavor to it but um it honestly does the job just fine so we got another one of these we actually already have one but i wanted to get another one um for some like instant pot meals like asian inspired instant pot meals so the coconut aminos was $2.99 then i got another everything but the bagel sesame seasoning this stuff is so good on avocado so i eat avocados a lot they're really high in fat and magnesium, um, and so they're just really good for you. And my favorite way to eat them is to just slice them up and then sprinkle everything seasoning on top of it, it's so good. Or avocado toast with this on top is also really good. This seasoning is $1.99. Andrew got himself some Chomps grass-fed beef sticks. These are $1.69 each, which is um, actually a really good deal. Walmart also carries these, but they're $1.99 there, so we got a couple of those to snack on. This sauce is like kind of the number one reason that we made this trip. I have been eating eggs with cheese on top of them like crazy lately. They make my mood so much better. They just make me feel better when I eat them. So whatever's in them, my body must be needing. So I've been eating a lot of eggs, not a lot of eggs, but like eggs maybe five times a week. And then I sprinkle cheese on top. Sometimes I'll put it in a burrito, like a tortilla as a burrito, but I always, no matter how I eat my eggs, sprinkle some of this green dragon hot sauce. It does have a kick, oh, but it is so good. So totally worth the trip all the way there just for this. And this is $2.99. We don't eat a lot of ketchup, but Emerson likes ketchup on her chicken or chicken nuggets. So we get ketchup mostly for her, and this is a really good one. It's got really good ingredients, and it's organic. So um, this is only $1.99 too. So we usually get a thing of ketchup when we go to Trader Joe's. These are kind of funny. Um, my grandma has ginger snaps every morning for breakfast, and Emmy spends the night at my parents' house, and my grandma lives with them. So. Um, when my grandma's drinking her coffee and eating her cookies for breakfast, Emmy likes to participate. So we snagged one of these little things for them. And this tub of cookies was $3.99. I like to have some trail mix on hand just as like a grab and go snack or whatever. It's like a healthier option to potato chips that I sometimes would rather have. But um, this is just a little simple almonds, cranberries, and cashews trick mix. It has some ingredients that are not my favorite. Sunflower oil, um, canola oil. I wish that it was just, you know, the raw nuts, but it's better than nothing. So I got this one, almonds, cranberries, cashews, and this was $5.99. The second to last thing that we got is this bag of unsweetened coconut chips. So this is kind of a funny story of how we even came to get this, but I used to eat these a lot. They're a good snack, they taste good. Um, I used to eat it on yogurt with some granola and Emmy would always steal this bag from me and just eat straight out of the bag, which I think is like a weird thing for a child to want to eat, but I'm not complaining. We haven't had these in forever. And this morning I gave her, Emmy, a bowl of yogurt and I said, do you want like some nuts on top or some granola or what? I don't even remember. And she said, no, I want coconut which she actually calls pokey nut. So we got her coconut. It was like perfect timing that we were gonna go to Trader Joe's. So got her that cause she requested it out of the blue. And then this is actually the last thing that we got from Trader Joe's and totally random, but this is popcorn, pickle popcorn, popcorn in a pickle. 
It's um, dill flavored popcorn. And actually it was not good the first bite I took, but then I kept eating it and it became really addicting and I couldn't stop. But I had a bunch in the car. It just looks like normal popcorn, but it's like tangy and it's good. It's got a very strong pickle flavor. But yeah, I recommend these if you're adventurous or like dill flavored stuff. All right, so that is it for our Costco and Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed shopping with us a little bit at Costco. Towards the end there, I started to forget to tell you the prices of everything that I got from Trader Joe's, but everything that I got from Trader Joe's ended up being $63. So it was a good day. We got a lot of groceries. We are set for a little while until the next time we decide to go all the way to Costco. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did in the comments or if you Haven't tried any of the things that I got or if you have tried them and you love them Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys there or another good one is let me know your Costco and Trader Joe's must-haves because I love getting ideas of things to try or maybe some of the people reading the comments can get ideas as well so Leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos that we have coming up. And make sure your notifications are turned on and that you select all. That way you'll get notified every time we post a new video. And follow us on Instagram, Allie underscore Gooch, to keep up with us there. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.